Hey there, I'm Joe Weems. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you about NGConf 2023 happening in Salt Lake City, Utah on June 14th and 15th. Head over to ngconf.org to check out the speakers, check out the talks, and to get your ticket before they all sell out. We'll see you there. Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying ngcom so far. Today I'm going to be talking about one relatively new feature from NGREX store package called Feature Creator. But before we start, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Marko Stanimilovic. I'm a senior front-end engineer at JobCloud, core member of NGREX team and organizer of Angular Belgrade meetups. Also in my free time, I'm a hobby musician and you can find me on Twitter at MarkoSTDev. So let's first see what is the NGRX feature. For each feature state, we need to create a reducer for handling state transitions based on the dispatched actions. We also need to define the feature name needed to register the feature reducer in the NGRX store. And last but not least, we need to create selectors to obtain slices of the feature state. So we can consider these three units, these three building blocks as NGRX feature. And let's now see what is the usual way to create an NGOX feature. In this example, we have songs feature state with three properties, array of songs, active song ID, and ease loading flag. Also here we define initial song state. To create a reducer for songs feature, we can use create reducer function from NGOX store package. This function accepts initial state as first and the sequence of case reducers as rest arguments. Each case reducer is defined by using the on function that is also part of the NGRX store public API. Then we also need to define a feature name to register songs reducer in the NGRX store. This is done by using the store module.for feature static method. And now song reducer is able to listen to the dispatched actions and update the songs feature state. The last piece in the NGOX feature puzzle are selectors. Here we need to create feature selector and selector for each feature state property. To create a feature selector, we can use create feature selector function from NGOX or package. This function accepts a feature name as an input argument. To create memoize selector for song feature state properties, we can use create selector function that is also part of the NGOX or public API. Now we completed creating the songs feature. However, you can notice some repetitive code here, especially in selectors file. As you can see, we have to manually create all the selectors to get the song state slices. And also we need to repeat this process over and over for every feature state in our application. Fortunately, since NGRX version 12.1, there is a new function called create feature that can help us to reduce repetitive code in selector files. Let's now look at how to create songs feature by using the create feature function. This function accepts a config object with two required properties. The first is feature name and the second one is feature reducer. As you can see, the reducer is created in the same way as before by using the create reducer function. In the destructor object below, you can see what is the result of create feature function. It will return feature name and feature reducer that we previously passed, but will, it will also generate selectors for us. All generated selectors have the select prefix and the feature selector has the state suffix. In this example, the name of the feature selector is select song state, where songs is the feature name. The names of child selectors are select songs, select active song ID, and select is loading based on the property names of the songs feature state. And everything is strongly typed, of course. We achieve this behavior by using the TypeScript template literal types, by the way. Now we can use generated selectors in our Angular components or NGRX effects, for example, but we can also use them to create another selector like in this example. So here we created select active song selector by combining select songs and select active song ID from the songs feature object. 
Also, feature registration is now a bit easier because we can pass the entire feature object to the store module dot for feature static method. Thank you very much for attention. If you have any questions, feel free to reach me out on Twitter at MarcoSTDev. Enjoy the rest of the conference. I hope to see you all in person next year at NGConf 2023. Bye-bye.